have a really easy way of getting children to create sound waves in the classroom using just a balloon and a hexagonal nut. All you're going to do is get the nut to go inside the balloon and then inflate the balloon. It's great for children to do this themselves. What I would suggest though is that you use a balloon pump to inflate the balloons. So. Tie off the balloon. We know the nut's inside there. Now all you have to do is spin the balloon to create a sound. The great thing about this as a demonstration is the children can actually experience the vibrations as they're holding the balloon. So as they're spinning the balloon they'll feel the vibrations that are created. They'll also get a sense of the spinning nut inside creating those vibrations and immediately they'll start to hear that as the speed of the nut changes the sound that's produced changes too. And now you can introduce the topic or the concept of pitch. So when we have a fast moving hex nut, the children will be able to feel and hear a very high pitch sound. When the hex nut moves slowly, the sound will be very much lower in pitch. So we have a very, very visual way that children can see what's going on, relate the speed of the vibration to the pitch of the note that's produced. We can also demonstrate that the sounds are coming from a vibration because we can take a similar object, in this case a penny, and do the same thing. So the penny goes inside the balloon, fit into the bottom. <laughs> the balloon, tie it off. Now we're going to spin it in exactly the same way. Once the penny's spinning, there's no sound being created in the same way. You might just be able to hear a little hiss. But without those vibrations caused by the edges of the hex nut, you don't get a sound. <laughs>